I'll look it up. Man, your camera, man. Scroll back. Oh, my Scroll camera's away. right on you, actually. In this oh, way. look the other way. Look away from him. This way you can hear. Well, then I'm way the hell on the other side. Quiet on the set, boys and girls. Getting ready to go live on the radio. Listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia, and no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo Laz and Jack. <laughs> This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Bringing you our own brand of news from right here inside Shroud and the Avatar. Four days a week. This week. Five days a week, normally. How's everybody doing out there? For the record, today is Thursday, April 13th, 2017. And, uh, of course, for those of you who missed us yesterday, uh, welcome back. It's, well, uh, I, I know we've got new sound effects for people, and I think they're going to be abused a few times today. You and think? I, just I, a little bit? J- just a tip. Just just a tip. Is, uh, we we yes, need a sound effect uh, we, of that. We well. are coming back to uh, do our show uh, day a day or two days after the postmortem, usually we would cover this on the day after, but the postmortem had a lot of interesting inf- information in it, as well as a couple new sound bites. Now, would you like to uh, do the honors? No, 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 no. Let, no. let, let we, them happen we, as we they will happen, come naturally. They will happen <laughs> as for appropriate times that no bots. They, they will be played. No bots. Um, but we do have lots of great information uh, from the hangout yesterday, and it was it, it was interesting to say the Tuesday. least. Yeah. From, from uh, yeah, the other day. Back up, back up. Because yeah. we weren't here yesterday. Yeah, that's right. right. Sorry. Well, we'll prove oh, that I was crap, here. I see. Proving this shit is getting out of hand. So the, the the funny thing is, I actually sat in the chair all day yesterday during the show, and I just did the cry emote. Did you? <laughs> no, no one noticed what what I was doing. Uh, but yes, Poor yesterday Jack. I I sat on the set during the show and just did the cry emote, and I it made pretty much the wrong week. Question if it's blue. That's right. <laughs> but uh, let's jump right in today. Is uh, let's talk about the post mortem. Uh, quite a few interesting things going on out there. Well, lots of inf- information, but where do now, you want to start? I don't know. There's uh, a lot, lot, of, lot of interesting information now. Of course, Spiff's not here today, which doesn't make it quite as much fun. Uh, because, uh, you know, there was talk about the mines and talk about uh, the, the making, remaking of the mines, the, the uncloning as it may be. Yeah, and, and part of that uncloning process means that they're going to actually change the, the spawning and as well as 
do some other things. But Chris had that all important message for miners. Yes, he Suck did. Suck it, miners. That's right. And it's it's one Suck where it's I, I don't know how much that will actually screw up everything. Um well, what's what it comes down to, and uh, you get in the don't take that out of context like we did is, uh, of course, we're well, going to have a lot of fun. We're, we're going to have fun next, with it. We're uh, going to couple we're, of years. Yeah, yeah. we're going <laughs> to abuse it until after everything is actually resolved. After, and, after it's dead. Yeah. But uh, what's going on with the young cloning is they're making the mines a little bit more intricate, a little bit deeper, um, and a uh, lot bigger. Yeah, a lot now, bigger. With that, and as yeah. Thor said during the telethon, is that the mines are dungeons, and in Ultima lore, as well as Ultima I Online, gotta argue mines that are point. Dungeons. Okay, if okay, you go yeah. back to the original, okay. First off, when you went into a dungeon, all you did was kill things. There was no mining. Okay. Well, yeah, but I, okay. In, in Ultima Online. When you went into a dungeon, you didn't mine in a dungeon, so that's bullshit. Hey, okay, I mined in mined. the I mined in the mines. I mined everywhere when I, when I played it, it, UO. I mean, mined if, if it was a you rock, I would caves. mine. If it was a patch yeah. of dirt that you but could actually you went, mine, when I you went it. down to Desolus, you, I, I don't recall mining in Desolus. Okay, I recall mining in the caves outside, but I don't recall when you go into the dungeon ever mining in the dungeon. You so. could mine in the dungeon. I I did it all the time. You just had to like take your pickaxe and target the ground, and you would have all kinds of nodes. But people frequently That's they they mined the um the caves on the outside because there was less monster spawns. Or no monster well, spawns. There was no monster spawns. Yeah. For most, so again, for most I, of the places, yeah. yes, that's true. But that's one now, where, yeah, know what? You could actually mine the floors inside of the uh, other, uh, other uh, in the actual dungeons that were the mines. Gaster, Gaster, Covetous. Thank you, Arians. Thank you very much. You don't remember the mining host? the floor? No. No, again, I remember, you know, um, the hey, initial get, experience get, get, was go, go uh, pull up one, one outside the graveyard. Yeah, you, know, you would go outside the graveyard because it was safe and it was in a guarded area just to get your base experience. And then you went up a little further north to the mountainside and you I'm worked the mountainside. Yeah, the the mountains. yeah. sometimes I mean, down. Right I, I don't remember, you know, when I went into, you know, all the, you know, the other dungeons, we went hunting. We didn't go mining. Ah, I correct. wanted to mine. I went to, you know. I don't remember that. So someone just messaged me. I, I'm not going to say who, but she, she text messaged me and she said she spent her her life mining in shame. Yeah. Shame. Okay. Shame. shame. That a town? Now, the real question was, she walking around with a bell of naked down the streets say, saying... Yeah, I don't think so. Are you sure? Wouldn't be a certain yeah. DJ that's on the air tonight now. I have it? no idea who, who that would be that would text me in the middle of the show. Yeah, no, no clue. Normally to <laughs> chastise me and tell me how, how wrong I am on things. And this shame. just in. Dirty, dirty boy. Shame. <laughs> this just in. Breaking that's news. Right. Just in. Oh, I get Thank it. You, Wayne. That's right. <laughs> Wayne Klotz. Hint, hint, hint. Just. But yeah, so, oh, I mean, you know, I, we, we can argue that theory that they've always been, you know, okay, hey. certain episodes, certain places, but not always. So I, I can't stick by that and back that all as heartily as, uh, you know, other statements personally. Hey, you'll just have to go back. You'll have to like go fire up your your T T two A uh, server, and you'll have to like go to one of those dungeons, and then just mine the floor and see see what happens. And you'll find out that hey, you know what? You can do it. I'm not doubting it can be done. What I'm yeah. saying is, for, for the most part, everybody I knew never did that. 
Yeah. Hey, I did it. Unless, yeah. unless there was a rare spore on a rock, and, and it wasn't always the floor, from what I recall. No, if you it, weren't. A, yeah. You had to find a rock or a wall, just yeah, just like, like anything else. Yeah. You know? I don't remember the no floors uh, either. I've. I want to bring up a topic that they mentioned at the at the telephone. Well, I want to finish the mining Go. topic real quick in the mines before we move on, but keep that keep that in mind one moment there. Is uh, so yeah, basically what happened was the mines got bigger. Um, the same amount of ore is down there. It's just now more stretched out, but there are more resources overall uh, to be had, is what they are saying with these uncloning. Yeah, right now. Again, I haven't been down to the new unclone mine, so I really can't speak to that. Uh, we know Spiff is a guy who just can't stand it. A couple of the other people are complaining about it. As uh, we saw in the Teleton, the miners out there of the world were revolting. Yeah. And, uh, well, and it, it, again, as Justin just said, call them dungeons, move on. Yes. But this uh, just goes on, and uh, they said this several times during the telethon, is we know you're not going to like it, but change is tough. Uh, this goes back to the quarter one uh, release where he said things are going to be fast and furious. People aren't going to like change so quick, but this is what it's taken to get to where we need to be, folks. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the, so. we, we do know that, that that is a lot of the balancing aspect, and it's one where they're trying to make sure that you know what? People actually do some things. Right. Now, Arius, what did you have? Because I want to do something else on the balancing aspect as well. well it, this is this is all something that they mentioned during all this time. I mean, they started off with... They, they did that. They talked about the bludgeon weapon changes, which, yay, I'm good about. But the thing that floored me was... And I actually had to stop the video, pull it back, and hear... Uh, uh, Lord British say it again, was that your housing furniture will decay. Should decay well, as well. Get out. Put a, no put way. And, in on it. And, and I'm serious. sitting there, and I'm sitting there going, wait a minute, so I'm going to have to replace everything in the house over time? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, well, you replace your bed and your bed sheets uh, uh, every fly. several no, I years, don't. don't you? No, I don't. No, I don't. No. <laughs> no, you don't <laughs> have we a know, bed. You have well, some that, hay in the barn, Led Zeppelin. That Let's brings not go me. there. Well, that's like if if Bam. no one ever sits in the chair, right. will it decay? Or, or only well, whenever it's again, used? Or... Atrophy. It's atrophy, man. Yeah, it'll decay. That's right. Now, I, of course, I, I'm torn. I heard the same comment. And a uh, very, very valid point. Yeah, you know, would R, and I would assume that the stuff on our set would break down. Now, of course, we have a lot of founder stuff on here, so it would be yeah. repairable just like anything else. You, you better would have buy a repair man. kit and bring it back to it. You would restore it as it may be and bring it back to its original luster, uh, which is the idea. But I wouldn't put too much credence into that any time in the near three episodes so let's put it that way <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just i'm torn on it because I, it led me to have a conversation well almost a mini rant on my stream about i think that it's important that yes armor and weapons break down and i do understand for those carpenters that are out there that make their money being carpenters that people you know they who make items like desks and chairs and stuff like that and that once they sell stuff they might need to you know sell more so you know your refrigerator breaks down you got to replace it your washing Absolutely. machine breaks down yeah. so your so torch I'm runs out that. you need a new one your light bulb yeah. runs out but the sheer thought of Man. of having to replace over time every single thing in your house what, what just, are you what are you all gonna know. do when all that powered Torn. stuff that light stuff requires that you have a power generator like a windmill what are you gonna do then I'm, I'm, I'm going to use one. fuel and got one. It's called the wind. Andor magic. <laughs> but now, yeah. on another the torch topic and some more of oil, put it on the wall. And balance here. Uh, one of the other big things they mentioned was, well, we, we've got to cut down the production of all these ores because there's nothing but, what? you know, and, and the amount of swords that are listed for sale yeah. proves it. And no, the uh, amount of no, no, no. this hell proves there's a lot of crappy swords that nobody fucking wants on well, these vendors out there. 
It doesn't prove there's a glut of resources. There's it just proves know, that previously yeah. there was a glut of resources, not anymore. It proves that you got to make a lot of crappy shit to raise your fucking skills. That's what it yeah, proves. But the catch is, they're saying that there's too many weapons available, but I I don't see it. There's a lot of crappy weapons, but I can take a bunch of rusty swords and put them for sale. When they do a sword search, are those rusty swords coming up in the search? I'm curious. That's one thing I'm curious. Two, all these uh, basic swords that the base crafters need to make before they can make these uber swords they've got to get rid of them someplace and you know what they're not just smelting them down because they don't want to lose the money and time invested so there's got to be a little bit better look and balance in my opinion because you got to give them something better than that and again something more mid-range chris did mention that on several different points but uh what what stops and what's going to balance it out so that people ain't putting that out there? Because when I'm out there searching, this is now I'm just going on myself. I'm looking for equipment. I've got some really great equipment now. So I don't I don't look for anything that ain't got a plus nine or better on it. So anything less than plus nine is automatically disqualified in my world. Okay, so when I see a plus one, a plus one, a plus one, and I see 20 plus ones. Now, maybe newbies are going to come along. But how many plus ones do we need out there in the world? That's my question. You know, well, there's got to be a way to weed those out eventually. You, you know what? You also have to look at the population versus the number of items that are being crafted. Understandable. And, and uh, it, it's one where you, you're always going to have more items crafted than players. Just because in order to build that skill, you have to craft a crap ton of items. Especially if you're what going to concept. get... A, a master crafted right but piece. i don't want to hear there's too many swords yeah, that, in the market so we're cutting down <laughs> you know, no, no, no. Yeah. we're cutting down the amount of resources available yeah, that, that doesn't make sense that that i think it was silly and i i, I don't think that absolutely yeah anybody that, that just really let's find a way out. to get rid of the crappy swords that are on the market being sold and get some better stuff out there that'll sell to make this economy move is really what my yeah. point is yeah the reason why the economy gets stagnant is because there's too much crap floating around on all these vendors and nobody wants it. You know, and I guess you know, I can't tell you how many times I visit vendors and it's the same crap and the prices are too high or it's just crappy stuff. And you know what? It's never going to sell. And, and that person ain't changing their prices because they believe their stuff is worth that, you know. We gotta find the balance there, and that's that's well, really my point. That, that's one where we need that massive influx of uh, players. We need, it, it, which will all happen, hopefully at in July, where you know what the game goes. The story oh, officially careful, launches. Careful. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Disclaimer, please. Disclaimer. Two thousand and seventeen. The, I think the weapon and armor decay uh, as that gets tweaked a little bit more and people need to replace their stuff a little more often if they're act if they're actively com combatants I think that'll help too uh, again we, we I understand that but there's got to be more of a balance than say hey there's too many swords so we're going to cut ore why don't uh, we just wear them out in two days yeah, well that? the yeah. catch is they're all sitting on vendors and nobody wants them. Even the new players don't want them because the new okay. players want better stuff than that. Now, here's a quick idea. Maybe, you know, a new player can't wield a plus nine sword and he needs that plus one or two for a little while. Hmm. There's a thought. Based on your skills. Based on your skills. Oh, boy. Depends on uh -huh. the enchanted weapon. There we use. go. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Give that boy a cookie. That, that actually is a good idea. Um, you would also have That'll to say... That'll get rid of that glut. Yeah, and it, it will cause more people to actually uh, invest in a variety of weapons as they're building up their skills. Now, this hey, would serve I still, twofold. I still love my it favorite would get sword. rid of those weapons, and it would give the uh, crafter miner types a cause to go out and make more because people would actually need those weapons. At this point in time, I get a new character, I get some gold, I'm looking for the best armor I can find. And in every Ultima game I ever played, that was always the case. I get into the game, 
every player gets in and then they want to go and find the best armor they can. No way, and bone was, armor. Said you had a level requirement where you uh, can't use this yet. Um, that would get a lot of this stuff out there circulating and moving. My two cents. Anybody every, else? Every plus every one plus taking one. ten levels. So a plus a plus one requires skill level ten in like swords, for instance. A a plus nine requires skill level ninety. You got to hit GM and above to start hitting like your plus elevens, uh, twelves, thirteens, fourteens, fifteen. Very uh, interesting. Very very interesting. Yeah, but again. Um, you know, new players come in, they get a taste of the game, they get some gold, they see plus one, they see a plus five, and, you know, they can afford the plus five. Are they buying the plus one? Hell no. It sits there forever. You know, and, and that's where there's a glut of stuff, and that's where the stall is, in my opinion. So I think that's something that needs to be taken a look at. Um, and think, again, as should, they tweak, we hope that happens. I think you should write that up and e message that to Chris and see get you know, his comments on that. I got I got a better idea. What you're gonna send him a link to the stream? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll take a clip and I'll put it out there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Chris's time is limited. He can watch it and get it instead of having to read the whole damn thing. Speaking of reading, we're gonna do some reading today. I don't know. Uh, well, that's up to you. Um, you, you ready for some stand-up corner from yesterday? Well, I mean, we got plenty more we can talk about in the hangout, but we haven't... Uh, we'll, we'll even have even more as soon as uh, a certain someone fit, answers some questions. Get, that get some questions answered. out yeah. there. That's right. Now, of course, uh, there were some interesting answers to some of those questions as well, and uh, love yes. to go over all that again. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Indeed. Good idea. Great idea. That's one of my favorites. Good idea. No jeer, no nothing. Just a attaboy. Good good job. So we do have so the stand-up corner from yesterday. Don't forget the stand-up meeting is where they sit there and say, hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down. In this case, it Wednesday's uh, well, notes were actually right. posted by Star. Hell? <laughs> what, what, what are you looking at? Are you looking at today's? I'm which were posted 30 at a, minutes ago? A deer Before? that just jumped off. Yeah, who is that? Who? Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike Rott. Rott. <laughs> Mike Rott. <laughs> just Mike flew Rott. out of the sky on, onto the set. Okay. Mike Rott. It's, it's, it's a bit of deer now. Definitely yes, a bit I, And I have Wednesday, Star Long, yes. Okay, I'm just making sure you got the right date. actually on the day. ball today. Well, yeah, yeah. uh... So yesterday, Stand Up Corner, uh, don't forget today is Thursday, unless you're watching this on repeats, and then I have no idea what day it is. Uh, no clue. Over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Death Bunny Bob. He was working on the ornate harpsichord. NFG Damon. Damon Wolfen. He was working on stuff. Known as the Granis Revitalization Visual Effects and Light Spells. Light Spells. Hmm. Let there be not gonna, light! They're not, gonna, they're not gonna narf it again with some stupid animation <laughs> like they did last time, hey, are they? The, Jeez, come If on he now. brings back the Golden Showers, I more than approve. Yeah, but none of this fucking mm. stuff. Yeah, I mean, well, well I guess we'll have to wait and see. What you're going you know, to... Last time they messed with the light spell, man, they got they got a lot of backlash. That's all I'm going to say, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, please. Hey, hey, you're going to bitch about the light spell anyways. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't, don't because don't you don't like it. the light don't spell. Need it. Don't want it. Uh, Fletcher. Fletch lives. Working on the spring telethon thorn bow. He's trying to make sure that you get a little prick. You're gonna get a little thorn in your side. That's right. He wants to give you a little Boop. prick. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. Then Kevin. Ow. Also working on Granis. Reed is working on some decorative headgear. Decoration headgear. He's trying to make sure Granus. that my bald is going to be decorated 
appropriately. Now, I'd like to know when I can customize my skull with some tattoos. Hmm. Things that make you flowers. Go, you you, flowers. you want to go pull out Mike Tyson? Is that what you want to do? Well, I, I don't want the eye tattoo. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking of the insert here. Uh, insert here. You want to get a little guy mode? with a lawnmower up top there? Yeah. yeah yes. Want. Yes. <laughs> I want the guy with the lawnmower on the top, along with a couple of uh, yard gnomes and a squirrel. Uh, and a squirrel. Yes. And then over in design, Beezus. Brandon Cotton. Working on the short bow pattern, the crossbow recipe, taming balance meeting. Taming balance meeting. Yep. Sea Wolf working Hold on, on the eye veil outskirts and <laughs> the wooden elevator. Suck it, tamers. Suck it, tamers. Dan the man. Yes. They had the man Brennan. Working on Verdantis mines and spawning. As well as doing some pot work. Pot work. You doing some pot work? Yep. He's got to go find the pot. It's down the street, around the corner. Some guy by the name of... Is he? Here. Or some guy by the name of... Some girl. I don't know. I don't know. What's his dealer's name? It's all your fault. I thought it was Joaquin. The Death Wizard Smoke was his dealer. But we'll find out. Uh, Sanio working on the Solace Bridge outskirts, NPCs, and combos, and spawning coaching. We're going to coach that spawn. We're going to make that the best spawn I want you to ever. spawn right here. And, you know, when I say go, okay, not before, not after, like, on Catch the word that go. chicken. Now, Just is, like uh, grease yeah. lightning. So three, two, one, go. I spawned spawned down my leg. You didn't spawn correctly. <laughs> We're going to have to try this again. Oh, my. Yes. Lum the Mad. Lum the Mad. He's also working out an artifice for, and the release 40 post-mortem. Sorcerer Steve. He's working on Blood River Outskirts. Yay, Steve. Yeah, he had to take the skirts outside because they got a little bloody, so. Yeah, time to okay. wash those things. Yeah. Vascor hmm. poor. I'm waiting for you to say something. Q? you? Vascor poor. Could have gone with List Rostov. You could have gone with. That, that's your get. You feel bad. You know what? I'm, I'm trying to help you, you out you, here. You, you're going to change the bit up. you got to give me a little bit of warning. Hey, hey, warnings? <laughs> they warning, don't happen warning. because you no have to warning. remember, this show is completely Bill unscripted. Robinson. We have no clue what's going on. That's uh, right. He's working on there these. There is no script, folks. Just no to reiterate, script. there yeah. is no script. Wedding is more with lads. This is the more. This is the more. Oh, no. I got to get some coffee up there. God. He's working on the Solace Bridge outskirts resource spawning. So he's trying to make sure, you know what? Here's some garlic. Here's some black pearl down by the water. Not over there by the tree. Down by the water. Uh, and then also some other things to spawn. Hey, we need a tree. We're going to cut down this one. Hey, what, what is this? Uh, Scroder the crazy cat bard? Whoa. Yeah, we'll I don't know, right but you see all them turkeys out in the audience? Hey, I see you, turkey. <laughs> that is a whole mess of pussy right there. This is a bunch of, bunch of mm -hmm. kittens. <laughs> I mean, somebody's going to be taming some, some cats out here. Screw to the crazy cat part. Yeah. It's... I'm telling you, we, we need to be able to juggle kittens. Yeah. Um, I think you can. I want, I want a pet squirrel, like a tameable pet Did squirrel. Did we get juggle kittens? I don't, I don't remember that one. Well, um, let's see. i got to go find... Uh, I've got jack-o'-lanterns, severed heads, severed arms, zombie heads, zombie arms. Um, yeah, I've got a few juggles, but no kittens. But not kittens. Now, the real question, are, when you're juggling the kittens, are you juggling the... Are they declawed or clawed? Oh, well. Well, I, I, I really clawed, think that close. they've got to be clawed. Absolutely. Of course. Declawing a cat's sacrilege, man. That's, 
Depends on how you like your furniture. That's right. <laughs> okay. Don't what? worry, it'll wear out in time. Yeah. Oh. Over in tech, Bobby. Hey, little Bobby Thompson. He's working on bugs. Bug. And some hardware. He likes it hard. Yeah. Let's up. Are you providing the hardware for him? Or do you only have the Soft. software? Software. Yeah, you only have the software. He's only got okay. the software. The interface. Yeah, little blue interface. pill for that, guys. Little they blue call pill. Him the ice cream. Little man, blue pill will help, it, help the That's software right. become harder. Yeah. <laughs> Eric. Eric. Working on bugs. Bug. And trying to improve some sieges. Trying to make sure that a little bit better. They can be killed. JY. Not to be confused with KY. Exactly. Yeah, not That's not right. the KY, the JY. Working on localization. Great biscuit jelly. What? <laughs> I guess none of that Kentucky Finger biscuits. biscuit <laughs> jelly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> goes down real smooth. Doesn't taste that great, but it goes down real smooth. <laughs> Wizard smoke. Oh, dear. He's been oh, puff puff yes. past. The ability to polish your Yui. Polishing his Yui. <laughs> yeah, and working on the help <laughs> text editions. The Deathbringer one and only working on cameras and bugs. Bug. Cameras. Finally. Cameras. Thank well, you. You know what? Uh, um, I hate to tell you this. It's not going to work properly. You know what? It's not Chris working on it. Well, I, I think most of the camera work was already done by the Deathbringer anyways. Oh. Yeah. Screenshot. Yeah. Maybe it'll get untied by accident. I don't know. Um, um, by I, purpose. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think the next song I'm going to play is going to be one called Midget Saw. <laughs> Moving right along. Moving right along, we do have Burning Toad. A burn. He's trying to find a way to make your pot devotionals visible on the overall map. No! Devotional data visible on the overall. Wait, and, no. and we've got Scrota trying to blow some cats. He's a lot of I saw this pussy on here. Yeah, it's like he, he's That's gently true. blowing on the furry pussy. He's gently blowing. No, unfortunately, well, it's here. not. It's not on screen because I've got stand-up corner up on the screen. Right. Tell me, I'm smalls. switching back and forth so that the viewers can see this stuff. Yeah. Come on now. I gotta go find the right button. Oh, now he's blowing that turkey there. over there. Now I've got to go like pan around. And... What's he doing to? Oh, he's trying to jump on the turkey. He's trying to catch a turkey. That's what he's doing. He, want, he was hungry. He wants yeah. to feed the turkey to his kitties, man. Yep, he's trying to do weird things. Okay, so moving right along, we do have Taslo working on infrastructure and trying to increase the speed for the VPN. Maybe. Uh, VPN. Oh, yep. Over in QA, we have the Attenwood working on localizations, trying to find the forums as well as his sanity. Sandy, where are you, Sandy? It's not going to find it there. Serafino is working on customer service. That lovely oh. customer service. Trying to find oh, some sanity and Robotech. 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 Is that the new guy? No, Robotech. What a Robot great cartoon from back in the day. Yeah, that's not the new guy, huh? Our useless overhead group, we have the Dippy Bird working on the release 40 postmortem and trying to balance some summoning. Summons, taming, balance, meeting. Do it. Do it. Suck it, tamers. That's right. <laughs> and taming balance. Suck it, tamers. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Beric was working on the Release 40 postmortem and forums. Hutch was working on the Roman temple style home. But we're going to have some new homes. And then we're going to have Lord Roman, British. Roman baths. Hell yeah. We need lots of Roman baths and some gymnasiums because we need to go exercise naked. Absolutely. Oh my. Oh my. Lord British was doing the Release 40 postmortem, and Darkstar was doing the Release oh 40 postmortem. Help text planning. Help me. I can't figure this out. And scheduling Help. some quest candidate interviews as well as taming balance meeting. Postmortem. Yep. And he still hasn't responded to my email. Killing me. Killing me. Tamers. That's what our devs were, said they were working on in yesterday's stand-up <laughs> meeting. Just make sure that you've got the appropriate suck it messages. And yes. Suck it miners, on. suck it tamers. Just suck it in general. Jeez, what's going on? we got a freaking zoo going on here, I tell you. <laughs> well, they're trying to make sure that you feel at home. Yeah, well, Scroto looks like he's right at home with all those pussy cats, I tell you. Well, yes. <laughs> Afternoon, ladies. <laughs> but yes, moving right along. I need to go find is, my, my fucking lung video. It's that way we can grab that. <laughs> it, because I do have a fucking lum video. Oh, we have all sorts of great stuff. Is uh, the three shots, the uh, yeah, all sorts of fun stuff. But yes, a uh, lot, lot of interesting changes coming up. A lot of tweaks. Now, I wasn't too, uh, too keen on what they, were, what he was thinking on the taming. Uh, now, I mean, taming, summoning not being useful. Okay, we we just built the whole system on summoning being useful, and now you're telling us it's not useful. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Welcome to development, as Star put it. Lion. Well, the a if you've got something like a obsidian bear or obsidian deer or whatever, it's going to beat the crap out of even the the best earth elemental with max skill that you have because they're just the summoned pets aren't aren't anywhere near the the tamed pets. Now, well, that, speaking that, of that's which, what he did it, say that he's going to be working on that to become a lot better depending on your skill. Mm -hmm. And he, yep. he now, he's tweaking that math. He's doing all kinds of things in order to make it better. So I'm going to just throw this out there to the audience and to you guys. Did anybody else hear the obsidian deer comment? Yes or no? Um, I, I, I think I missed it. I, I may okay. Have been Anybody playing. else in the room? I'm not recalling specifics now. Okay, so I, 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 I'm going to have to go research this because I heard a comment and uh, I'm I'm not going there if you guys didn't hear it because uh, I got to well, find out whether. No, 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 no. F too too good to give away. Yeah. Mm. Too good to give away until we confirm it. Gotta go watch that video again. Eventually. Yes, absolutely. Maybe this weekend. You want taming to contribute to the strength of summons. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. You're drinking, that's right. All right what the hell are they that. doing in that office, man? <laughs> the hell? They, they, Where do they get these ideas from? You have to Jesus. maintain the Balmer curve, man. You have to remember yes. that. It, the Balmer curve no is No video game is working properly without paying attention to the Balmer curve. That's right. Is this the Jaeger Balmer curve? Well, there may or may not be a few. There may not may or not be some Jaeger involved in getting and achieving the Balmer curve. Let's put yeah. it that way. Absolutely. And don't forget the, the bomber curve is very very tricky because there's oh, that's that point between creativity and alcohol consumption can quick quickly lead into a disastrous move where if you've drunk too much that you will end up in the the incompetence mode. So the bomber curve is very very tricky. Yes. And, and it takes years to establish the proper 
amount of consumption in order to maintain that curve. It's it's called stay drunk, avoid. We, we've got a blackboard yeah, in the back that, that, that shows ideas. all this out. That's <laughs> great. Yes. You know, List, if I didn't know any better, I would say it was Star behind that keyboard. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> or Chris. Or Chris. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound... That sounds like Star talking over there. Come on now. Yeah. Let, let's design by on? committee. Committee of thousands. Uh, that want mutually exclusive systems. Nothing. Yes, I want my it's... own mutually exclusive system. What's, what's so hard about that? Well, th there's a game for that. Um... <laughs> It's yeah, too much time on the forums. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I try not to read the forums for a reason. I will say, hey, yeah, so long as we're not Star Citizen development, I'm happy. Okay, yes, yeah. Well. Another 10 years, anyway. that game might launch. Mm -hmm. You might actually be able to leave the hangar soon. I don't careful, know. careful, careful. Just click, I don't know. know. Okay, this is not right. I just, I just don't get it. Yeah, at least here in development we see something. It, it almost looks like all those kittens are nursing on the lamb. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Well, they look like they were nursing on Scrota there a little while. Well, ago. they were no nursing on soda <laughs> on Scrota for a little bit. I mean, I'm surprised that, that he wasn't groveling Sucks around them. Dry. Sucks dry. dry. They're on Uncle Salty now. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kittens nursing on Scrota, Hobla for that. That's not milk, babies. That's not oh, milk. Oh, did you hear that? Kittens <laughs> nursing on Scrota, Hobla <laughs> for it's in. All right, we can do this. Salty milk. How many? How many kittens do we need? Yeah, it, well, I, I'm sure that we can find them. Well, I'm, we got Doctor Cat, and is, is Doctor Cat going to be showing up to Hobla for? I, I know he just relocated back to Texas. He just relocated to Austin again, yeah. so I don't see why he wouldn't want to make an appearance and uh, join in the festivities for such a, an enormous milestone. I think an enormous milestone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm definitely going to ask. I haven't confirmed yet, but he. Is, I have a list of NBCs to reach out to. Okay. Uh, I hope nice. he decides nice. to show up because that, that would be a fun. Thing to actually Are we, we going to ring Lord British's cattle as well? What? <laughs> what? Never mind. Never mind. Lord right. British's cat can definitely suckle Scrooge. That's yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> nice teats. Nice teats. Lord British's cat is a thirsty cat. <laughs> he is. <laughs> now, now we're talking. <laughs> Lord British's cat is a... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, Unruly cat. Yeah. Depends on which rules you play. Yeah. And, and I'm being texted pineapples Staying for some odd reason. Letter, or you're moving around the alphabet, or both. Yes. Yeah. But uh, moving right along. We got uh, anything else for the good boys and girls well, we, we need to cover we, before we do we have start Chris's rapping. blog. We um, do. That is right. I forget that uh, we have a new uh, new, yeah, new, new feature, segment that we new, can new reach out to that, there. Yeah. I mean, the real question is, how many days do you want to actually do? I mean, do you want to do just today's, or do you want to do yesterday's? Do you want to do what? Well, we, we, what haven't we covered? Uh, let's see. Today well, we, we didn't is, cover course, yesterday's, and we didn't cover today's. Well, let's, let, let's, uh, we, we covered the 11th? I think so. On Tuesday? Yep. Yes, we did. All right, no, just, let's, cover t let's cover yesterday's, and... Uh, so yesterday, Chris, on his developer blog, said that his first two hours of the day spent replying to a stack of emails that had piled up. Oops. Uh, and then Oops. he had current thoughts on taming after, after more testing and sleeping on it. And the hit points and levels of the tamed creatures are fine. Or suck possibly... That would be suck it tamers. Or possibly it, tamers. a bit high. He reduced the fo focus pool. Still feels like it is reasonable, especially if players work on taming concentration skill. The move speed of pay tamed pets was crap, and he fixed already and made them match the creature type. Wolves are fast, bears are moderate, spiders are slowest, but all of them are about 50% faster. 
Nice. So the the D- DPS is low, but about on target in his book. But from player sentiment, yeah, this right. feels like the thing players really yeah, want right. to increase the most. Exactly. Well, well gonna, you're, you're not messing around with this. It's going to suck all your mana, you know? It should hey, do something, Suck man. it, Tamer. Uh, GM you're, tamer. you're also not dealing yeah. with his GM new. Tamer to you. Okay, come on. Suck it, Tamer. I'm waiting for Laz to hit enter. Suck it, Tamers! That's right. Uh, current plan to compromise to make tame creatures more something you have to take care of, but with more rewards is to reduce or eliminate their natural healing so the tamer has to keep them healed and then increase the DPS of the tamed pets. So they'll be a bit more work and more at risk of death, but they will be more effective as a combat tool. I gotta, I gotta tell you, I was out last night, and again, this damn thing. Okay, if you're gonna make it, and yes, please make it so we have to heal the pets, but make it so that we have to use that skill, and when I go to heal myself with my regular healing skill, I'm not healing my damn pet. <laughs> Absolutely. Keep them out of the way, then. The heal human and the heal pet skill. Two different skills. Why does my heal human heal my pet and target my pet? Please fix. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, no. you, d- taming the wrong thing never happens. All the time. Um, I then, never tame the wrong thing. Then as a consolation prize for all of the tamers that are di- completely disenfranchised by the changes. He's adding all tame skills to the 100% unlearned list for re- release 41. Those that still do not approve of taming after his improvements to it will have the option to reclaim almost all the experience they spent on it. And taming Duck improvements it, in place and waiting to be tested should be more, both more damaging and have more survivability in combat but might require healing between fights. And then all creatures are going to gain at least a 20 base strength that increases both damage and hit points. Move speeds all are going to be at least one and a half times what they current are. All creatures gain damage damage resistance to match their creature type. So their wild counterparts. Out of combat, health regen was reduced to combat level health regen, but not eliminated. And then he decided to spend some quality time on moon magic because you know what? What? Moon magic has no offensive spells. (laughs) Uh, So there's going to be a tier two spell called fireflies. When you drop your pants and scare your enemies. That's right. I may may have engaged in a few bouts of moon magic myself. (laughs) <laughs> and Hoblot. And other places. Yeah. Magic. yeah. And other places. Yeah. So is that and why brown, you big on brown eye. I, now I know. I, Taking that moon magic show on tour now, are you? Damn Skippy. <laughs> uh, on the brown eye, Jack. I don't know what you're talking I'll about. Shit Sur- surrounding that. target with uh fireflies making the target easier to hit and increasing the chit uh, the crit critical chance. And also the clear, the, yeah, also clear the way to make Vigilus designated said moon gate. <laughs> the moon gate. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> the moon gape. <laughs> also clear the way to mark designated targets for large group combats. Uh, yeah, hold on. Oops. There we go. I had, to, I had to put that up on the screen. There we go. The moon gate for everybody. <laughs> hold, hold on. I've got to go find that. Got to, go, got to go find that myself. <laughs> Just okay. click on the. Uh, I know. I got. I've that? got to go move that. Ah, that's funny. Ah, come on! I can't move the window. What the hell? There, the moon gate. Then after that, we do have. Um, <laughs> he's taking a break from implementation work to write a quick presentation for a college class, and he has to dig up 90 minutes of material. And then today, Chris said that he was abusing moon magic, some or lunar magic, uh, some more, 
and dealing with some localiz localization issues. And if you're interested in helping lo do the localization, keep your eyes open for that. And more discussions of getting the public data box exposed. For those curious on how to use it, go read up on Elasticsearch. What? I was looking for taking a break. What are you looking at? Um, I, you were on Moongate, and I was waiting for taking a break, and you're off on a tangent. I, I, I went over the college class, and that he had to dig up 90 minutes worth of content. And no, yeah. I will attempt to record the talk to share with the community. No, no comment on recording the talk. I mean, he has to get okay from the college in order to do that. I'm not worried about that. I mean, it's it's gonna be silly. It's gonna be like you, game dev you, 101. You really, you really from Professor it. Spears. Hey, that's your pie hole. And then you're supposed to stop there. No, he got a degree. No. <laughs> Moving right along. And, and we have the, the community calendar. Hey, hey, we had one more thing left. Me one sponsor. more thing where? That was it. It ended the work there. On, work on slides for a class of graduate students in a game development class. Still hoping to be able to record this and share with the community. That was the last thing. Kill me, Smalls. Kill me. Okay, you, you, you missed a joke. I, I will attempt to record the talk. He wants to have the talk with the community. No, you can't yeah, never. Did I miss the joke? Yeah. 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 Everybody missed the <laughs> yeah. joke. Everybody. Yeah, because you went flying right by it. Never mind. Yeah. Hey, hey. Well, hey. Slow down. What are you talking about? Wait. I gotta go find another song to play. Peace, what am I gonna play? So while you tell people where this calendar thing is located at. Yeah, that's right. Is uh, don't forget is uh, we have the Shroud of the Avatar community calendar with a list of daily events happening inside Shroud of the Avatar. And you can find that on nbnn.info. Just click on the calendar tab, and it'll take you right on over. And of course, if you're not near a computer, you can uh, of course, of course, always download the NBNN Soda app, uh, available on Google, iTunes and the Amazon store. So no matter your device, you can take us with you. You can listen to the show. You can check out the news. You can read the forums. You can listen on the radio and a whole bunch more using the NBNN app, including the calendar. Yay. And don't forget, SodaCon is in October. And if you know that you're not going to be able to make the trek down to Austin and you want the cloak or SodaCon participants. Non-attendee cloaks are still available until those supplies are exhausted. Just go to SodaConAustin.org for those. Uh, regular there tickets are a limited amount, just so people know. Regular tickets are still on sale. Um, just go to SodaConAustin.org. Uh, today is Thomas Jefferson's birthday, as we need a revolution every 20 years. Today at noon, 6 and midnight, there are two idiots that interpret the news so you don't have to on a show called Lunch with Us. Lunch. That's right. Idiots. On WRF. WRF. I was waiting for Zep to do his idiots thing. But two, it took him a while. Two, I, I think he was getting two, some coffee. Idiots. It, it uh, took him a second. That's right. He's talking to very pregnant there. pause. He was in labor for a good 11 minutes or so. Uh, today, March, uh, just like his father, Jack. <laughs> Jeff, I am not your father. At four o'clock this My afternoon baby. on Avatar's radio, <laughs> Golden Wings going country. At 7 p.m., you can always join Mal Hari or Kazen Phoenix Fire for the Phoenix Republic PVE nights. At 7, you need to turn tune in your Ether amplifiers to WRFB. WRFB. For the 70s at 7. At 8 p.m., you need to visit the Hearth of Britannia website for the Dragon's Meat. Hey, Rustic, are I you there? I touched the Dragon's Meat. I am here. Oh, the meat. Is there any is particular there? topic that is going to be addressed at tonight's uh, Dragon's Meat? Yes, indeed we do. 
Uh, we're going to be continuing our discussion of the virtues, and tonight's topic is going to be justice. And then after that, we're going to talk about the implications of the listing of Castleton and what those implications are on Hobloth Four. And then, of course, brainstorming what we can do to make sure that Hobloth Four is absolutely the best event that we can make it under the circumstances. Excellent. I hope I will be able to attend just because Pablo 4 is going to be phenomenal. It is. And, Can't wait. Uh, if Pablo 4 and the conversation about the virtues, especially justice, are not your th- forte, then you can always tune in to WRFB. WRFB. Because this just in, Nurse Justin's going to be taking over the airwaves for unmedicated schizophrenia, part do. 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 You got to do it like this. Do. <laughs> do. That's right. Do. <laughs> do. And then at 10 p.m., <laughs> Avatar's Radio, Ember Flame is going to be doing Temper Change from T Days. And the final event of the evening is going to be on WRFB. W-R-F-B. And that's the record room, and that is today's calendar for Thursday, April 13th in Trout of the Avatar. Trout oh. of the Avatar. 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 Don't be. Avatar. Don't be. That's right. Don't be avatar folks. That's right. And of course, just a reminder that NBNN is a proud sponsor of SodaCon Austin 2017. You can go to SodaConAustin.org and get the latest information. If you can't find what you need there, get in touch with me and I'll go ahead and put you on to the right people. And call WRFB Radio Free Britannia with all sorts of great stuff happening throughout the week. You can catch us in replays throughout the day. The Deco Divas every Wednesday and Thursday, including Nurse Justin hey, tonight. Tonight, wake up. Eighties at eight. Britannia. Eighties at eight. After yes. the seventies at seven. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> Uh, wake up New Britannia on Saturday morning and the swap shop every Saturday night. So check out all the stuff that's going on in WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Grimytraders.com for all your auction needs. Go out and check out the auction house if you want to start your own auction. The Ockenshire and Markham Farms, the official sponsors of NBNN. If you need wholesale cotton reagents, vegetables, ale, more... Uh, including reagents, unless Jack's got all the uh, all the oh, grow houses locked up. You can check out I'm still waiting for delivery. Farms. And of course, if you need it in a rush, you can check out their store on the Marketplace, ShroudMarketplace.com. Our home guild and friends and brothers over the Britannia Mining Company want you to come on down the Market Road over in Black Rock Cove. Located in the Quell region, right next to the Etzner Mines for your mining convenience as well. Jacob White's Soda Map, sodamap.com, is truth. And of course, now appearing in-game, if you hit the M key on your screen, Soda Map now conveniently shows up, shows you where you are on the map. If you want to place your own markers and stuff, go out to sodamap.com, sign on up. And you can drop on custom markers so you can see the stuff that you want to remember. Relics by Rills, giving you all your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag for a price, of course. If you want to buy some t-shirts, some hats, some patches, some bumper stickers, all sorts of stuff, go to relicsbyrill.com. And if you want to save a little money on all that swag, use the promo code NBNN when you check out at Relics by Rill. You'll save 10%. When you check out. And last but not least, our good friends over at the Shroud Marketplace. Shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. Check. Want to yes. tell the folks about the marketplace? Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Every store is a different player. And if you're interested in selling your wares uh, for cash, you can do so by registering and then clicking on vendor registration. And you can be just like. Dread Pirate, who just listed, and actually it appears to be out of stock already, a couple of uh, artifacts. 
gig. Oh, artifact listings yes. now so on the marketplace. Are available. Very nice. So anything game re related Arties. can be bought or sold. And that's all the way from accounts, pledges, bundles. All of that can be sold all the way to services. Anything services, related, including services, game gold. Services. Yes. And every, every single uh, vendor, remember, is a different player, and they're responsible for maintaining their own inventory and making sure those everything gets delivered. Uh, you know what? Those services are awesome. You can go visit the NBN lot to see some of the cheese sign writing that was done by Wolfdom Shop for us, uh, or Soda Design Services for decoration services. Scrota's Music Service thing for $5 gets you... A whole, lot of dead air. Air. a whole lot of dead air <laughs> or weddings and more by Laz. that's right if you're looking to get hitched you need uh, a place to get hitched or you need the accoutrements to go with it you need a wedding dress you need some tuxes you need all the finery check out weddings and more by Laz, and we'll get you all hooked up and that, that means it's actually time for us to thank the most important people out there. And that's you guys. Thank you for watching that's out on right. Twitch, YouTube, thank you guys. or listening on WRFB. We couldn't do the show without you guys. WRFB, Radio Free Britannia. And we do it for you guys. So thank you. Otherwise, if you weren't watching, paying attention to us, we'd just be two random guys sitting here talking to ourselves. Talking to ourselves, doing nothing. That's right. Sitting on Thank you, everybody. We love you guys. We love this shit. And we will be back tomorrow with the weekend roundup. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Stay tuned for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans from right here inside Shroud of the Avatar. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll be back with you tomorrow. It, did my bot die? Yay! Oops. Nope. Yay! I did that as a PM. <laughs> Suck it, miners. <laughs> Suck it, tamers. Suck it. Suck it good. <laughs> Suck it long and hard. Suck it. Suck, Suck it real good. I have to put that to the whip it. Suck it real. Yeah. You're right. You're suck right. Suck it Russell. now. Yeah. I like the, the suck it. Penis. I still need to get you the fucking lump. <laughs>